What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to another beautiful, gorgeous day from Florida at the Safe Haven Ranch. I've been wanting to do this for a couple days now. My baby chickens, they've grown so fast. They got all their feathers and I think it's about time that they be outside now with all the other Safe Haven animals. And if you didn't know, I have a huge, actually I have two huge chicken coops that they get to spend the rest of their days at. I mean, I'm gonna let them free range, but this is a great start because I do want to slowly kind of introduce them to the dogs. The dogs are gonna be protecting them as well as the, the llamas, of course. But it's much better to introduce an animal to another animal with some layer of protection. And I'll show you what we got going on. It's gonna be great. I don't have all of the chickens. I have about half of them, so we have to go get the other half. I didn't wanna crowd up their little kennel right here. And I don't want them to be in there very long, so let's hurry up. Look at this huge hole that my dogs dug. You guys having a good day today? You're gonna have the best day ever. You're gonna love. Look, I put a bunch of wormies in there for them. They're going crazy. That way they're, you know, they're not too scared. Like they're they're pretty happy in there, even just for a few minutes. Also, I feel like they kind of outgrown the little pool ah! that I got and my ducks kind of outgrew where they're at. So I wanna transfer them. I wanna start putting the ducks in the bigger like pool enclosure. And there's only, uh, there's eight, no, I'm sorry, seven ducks. Is there seven? Yeah, there's seven ducks total. That's, you know, including my goslings as well. But this is where the ducks and the chickens future little home is gonna be. I'm gonna put the ducks over there for now and the chickens over there, but the ducks aren't gonna go in that one until they have their feathers. You can see these guys, they have their feathers and they're looking so cute. Look, that's Sister Mary Clarence. I only have a couple names. One of them's name is Chris. These guys got little afros. See that? I have two of them like that. They're so cute. They got like mohawks. Anyways, let's go set them up. <laughs> These are toys, guys. These are your babies. You guys are gonna protect them. They're really curious. They're like, what are these guys? <laughs> oh, wow, it fits. All right, guys. You're gonna love your new house. Okay, go ahead and go out. Come on, come on. Come on, you can go out now. Come on, don't make me get you. All right, I gotta get these guys out. There you go. There you go. All right, you guys ready to come out? <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. She's so cute. She's so cute. I used to have one just like you. Oh. You're gonna have the best life ever. There you go. Come on. You're adorable. I think this guy's my rooster right here. Hi, Sister Mary Clarence. This is Sister Mary Clarence. She looks like a nun. All right, these guys are so little, I gotta make sure I don't step on them. Hi, baby. Aw. Yo, even Macy, my llama, is like, she's going crazy. So this is where you're gonna lay eggs in the future, okay? Let me show you. Gonna have to go up this little ladder right here and then go up there and lay some eggs for me okay there you go you guys like your space huh they're saying yeah 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 mm, you're so cute you guys have grown so much my little babies look you guys have grass that you could chew on i'm gonna bring some feed in here too i love this chicken coop because it's completely sealed off from predators, it's like predator proof. If a fox, let's say a coyote, I mean, first of all, I got my livestock guardians outside. I got my guard llamas, I have my guard dogs, but I do have to protect them from the dogs as well. The dogs are still puppies. They don't know they're guarding dude. I mean, they have been guarding already, but they're, they're only five months old. They got a lot to learn. So this is perfect. They can't dig, my dogs are diggers, but if they were to try to dig under here, they could not get to my chickens because they're protected. See that? So this works out great. And it keeps these guys nice and safe so then they could keep growing. Oh, I kept up. Oh, you give me kids? All right, I'm gonna go get the rest of them. There's like, I don't know, 10 more. And we need to do a head count. 
See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we got 13. Let me do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, shoot. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, good thing I counted again. I have 14 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Did you count along with me? Let me know here in the comments. Maybe some of you counted 15. Maybe we have an extra one in there. Who knows? Sister Mary Clarence, I must say, you are looking beautiful today. And oh, I can't forget you. I'm gonna name you Popcorn, because you look like a popcorn kernel. Here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you guys are good jumpers. But you are looking sensational. You are so cute. Oh, yeah. Give me a gift. Give me a gift. Hey, how you doing, baby? How you doing, Dad? You guys having fun today? Yeah? Good time on the safe haven, huh? <laughs> that was so cute, Gracie. And what are you doing, little one? What are you doing? Are you having a good time today? Okay, let me open this up. Oh, sheer, he loves going in and out. There you go. <laughs> Just go on the other side, you'll be fine. Oh, okay, that's how you get out. You are a slick little mother humper. That's how you escape from your other owner, huh? Okay, I gotta be really careful I don't step on him or her. So I gotta get these guys now. There's, yeah, there's like 10 of them in there. I think a little bit more. My little one, you're gonna get eaten by a hawk. Get back in there. What are you doing now? Come on, get back in there. Come on, where are you going? Come on, baby, come on. Get back in there, come on. Okay, good boy. I have to say, you guys are a little bit more chill than the first bunch. I think they just accepted their fate that they were gonna become chicken nuggets today. I'm just kidding, no chicken nuggets here. You guys are so loved. Aww. Look, your brothers and sisters are right over there. Look at this pretty girl. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. You're gonna be so big. So I had a hen years ago, her name was April. She was my first hen to ever be attacked by a predator. And she looked just like one of those. I have three in her honor. So one of those is gonna be named after my baby girl, April, that passed away at the hands of a raccoon. Maybe they'll be the three Aprils. Like they'll just, all three of them will be April. Oh, let me know. I think that's a good idea. So they seem to be liking it in here so far. I'm gonna get them some food. They got plenty of perches. So, I mean, it's a nice big open space. Definitely an upgrade. I'm not gonna always keep them in here. Once they get a little bit older and more mature, I'm gonna let them kind of free range. I'll have a, a area here, but we do have to be careful with hawks because there are hawks in the area. So if I have them outside, definitely gonna have to have one of the dogs monitoring them and, and protecting them. So. This could be a great day and a great future at the Safe Haven Ranch with our newly acquired chicken farm. I have 26 chickens total. Two of them happen to be roosters. That means I'm gonna have 22 possible egg laying hens probably in the next five to six months. Sometimes they lay every day. If not, sometimes every other day, but we're gonna have a lot of eggs. And I am gonna, what are you, that one's trying to go for a ride on the other hen. I think it's gonna be great. I do love eggs. And we are gonna maybe try to incubate some of the eggs too. What do you think about letting the dogs in here? Just to kind of let them smell the chickens. Yeah? yeah? All right. Chickens are friends, not food. <laughs> He's just more curious than anything. But this is good. Gives a little protection for the chickens and they can kind of get used to them. Dad, you're gonna watch over these guys, okay? Oh God, they're like so scared. Look at Daki boy. Daki's already watching over his babies. Look at that, he's not even trying to attack them or anything. <laughs> so cool. Come here, Gracie. Gracie. Oh, Gracie's another story. So this is Star and she's named after Chris. Uh -huh. Chris Star. Okay, remember my three girls that I named April? Well, Tiffany said we should name them April, Spring and Autumn. And I was like, what about April, May, and June. Perfect names. Yeah, perfect names. So yeah, that's their names. Cause I mean, they, they all three can't be named April. I mean, that's boring. They have to have their own a little original twist. We gotta give the little Mohawk ones a name. And the, there's 
two black ones with like fuzzy heads. They're all gonna have names. All my chickens have names. This one's been perched on me for, I don't know, like five minutes already. You can go with your friends, go. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we gotta be really careful not to step on these guys. So I did a little check to see if our smallest, you know, like star can reach these little, these little water plugs. So they'll eventually get to it. Like my ducks figured it out. However, there's no pine shavings in here, so we're gonna still bring the other water feeder. But if, you know, if they were to run out of water on that, they have something here that lasts a long time. Ducky's such a good boy, look at him. Tiffany said there's a couple here in the nesting boxes. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. There's three of them. Is there any on the other side of you? Let me see. No. Okay. Oh, wait. No. Maybe they don't know that they can come down here. I'm gonna get them out. Oh, look, watch out, there's a chicken coming towards you. Okay. Come here, guys. Ah, come on. All right, not a good idea. I had this great idea. Whew. But maybe it's not the greatest idea. We got a lot of dirt here. Whew. Oh, that's heavy. I need a break. Oh. Okay, so we're not gonna let the dogs inside of this area right now. Eventually, yes. I mean, without us. Definitely not. So it's gonna be much better for them to be on the outside where they can still monitor the chickens. Dak was very gentle, but Gracie was trying to attack the chickens. And guys are still little. So you wanna see our cool idea? So we got the pool. We're gonna put a little dirt in there so then they can scratch around, dig for bugs. Oh, I see a cricket in there. He's about to go bye-bye. But they like taking dirt baths to cool off and this stuff is great for keeping bugs and parasites off of their, off their skin, feathers. Oh look, they're already pecking at the little bucket. I think they're liking it. Got a lot of dirt in here. Oh. This is the haunted duck pool. No more ducks. I should have brought a shovel. I'm just gonna have to get down and dirty. It's like a, like a play sand place. These aren't rocks either, they're just like little sand. Sand rocks, I guess. Look at this, this is great. Perfect, it's a perfect amount too. Yeah, it's not too much. We could add more, little by little. So this will be future area for the ducks. We do have to do a little remodeling in here. There's a lot of number twos. For the most part though, they're gonna be protected. Yeah. Happy about that. We I put, we put the ladder. ducks in the dirtier pen because they're dirty. The ducks are already they're dirty. dirty. <laughs> this is amazing. Anything with an exoskeleton, cockroaches, ants, like most bugs, it just like, it, it kills them. You could actually put this in like food too. So it's completely harmless to, to animals, to humans. Bugs though, I mean, if you got a pet bug, like they, they could die. Just kill them, It'll dry them out. It's, uh, it's calcium. Dial, dial, I can never say this. Yeah, supposedly you can put it in, in food. It's stuff. bug powder. It's bug powder. Let's it's, just call it that. It's very powdery. You know what? I'm gonna put this mask on. Look at them on the little walkway. Oh yeah. They're already walking the chicken walk. They are loving it in here. I was gonna use the whole, the whole thing. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, thanks. A little dusty. Mm -hmm. But they can take little dirt baths. Oh, God. Flying all the... <clears throat> sorry, but it just really... Hurry, help. I need to get out of here. How much do you love me? I love you a lot. Just a lot? <laughs> oh, can't breathe. I need to get more of this for the feeding room because ants got in there. Which was expected. Look at these guys. Hi. <laughs> so I got this whole area clean. Okay, wait. Oh, there you go. And they got a whole new area. You can't get the last one. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh my god, it's so, <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. They legit sound like squeaky toys. They love the worms. If we put that little thing of water, oh look, they're going crazy for the worms. Yeah, oh, so he's <laughs> struggling in here. Oh, he can't walk. I know. We need more um, bedding, like in this area. All right, 
got the lights in, elevated their water and their food so that they can't get it dirty. I will eventually get that back hung up. But I think I'm gonna wait until they get their feathers and they're back in the permanent coops. But so far, this is great. It's just them, it's a bigger area for them versus the chickens. Ducks get a little bit bigger quicker than chickens do so. Oh no, one of them is starting to show signs that they're getting their feathers already. So it shouldn't be long. I'm thinking like two, maybe two more weeks. They're loving their little area. Let's look at them. <laughs> By the way, I did put fresh pine shavings. I took all the old stuff out. It's in that bag right there. You know, these guys aren't the cleanest, but I try to keep them clean. These guys are really loving their new space. Isn't that right, Sister Mary Clarence? Got a nice place to stretch out. Those guys look familiar to you, Luna? I actually trained her when we used to have chickens before because she would always try to eat them. And she did really good later on after I trained her not to, but she likes to watch them. She does like to watch them. Oh, look at this one. Using the stairs and all. That was funny. Luna loves the safe haven ranch. She'd be riding out with me and stuff too. She literally just got up here in my golf cart with me. Man, today was probably one of the most busiest days. I mean, it's always a busy day here at the farm, but this is super busy. Always something going on. Oh. I have to say the hardest thing so far has been the dogs. Not this guy, but my great Pyrenees dogs and all the digging they're doing. Glad the chickens and the ducks are situated for now. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be happy time for them. What is up? For starters, I am absolutely exhausted. I think my dogs broke out of the paddocks at least five times today. And I, I don't know. Tiffany said something about them getting fixed, kind of helps with something like that. I don't know, if you have any great Pyrenees and maybe they went through this stage in their puppyhood where they were digging holes and getting out, let me know what you did to fix it or if they ever grew out of it at all. I know there's some dogs that dig holes and always find a way to get out. I mean, they have so much yard. I mean, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day. I'm here at the Clown Cottage. Just set up that studio light right there. It's called a, it's like a honeycomb light, but yeah, it adds like some like shadows to the face. It's, it's pretty cool. Just set that up. You know, in the 11 years, almost 12 years that I've been on YouTube, I never quite understood lighting and lighting is such an importance in videography. Yeah, if you're wanting some good quality in your videos, don't overthink when it comes to lighting and sound. Audio is so important. Have to have good sound. I usually, you know, I'm using like really good microphones, stuff like that. When I do some of my documentary type videos, I'm using this really good wireless microphones, but huh, I gotta do some work here. I'm still working on the series. Just want to give you an update on that. I outsourced a little bit of the projects to a friend of mine in Poland that has helped me with some video projects so they're kind of helping me out on some of the series right now i'm you know i'm working on ryan working on my own night and once i chop those up we're going to start putting them together inside the series if you don't know what i'm talking about back in october i filmed for an entire month with a professional producer we that's done tv shows we went hardcore on some filming and had 16 amazing, well, 15. I'm not gonna say that I'm amazing, but I'm one of the creators involved. And it is coming out amazing. Like, it, it's been so much hard work, so much money invested into this. And I've been working on it, I mean, since since September of last year. And I'm getting down to the nitty gritty now. I'm, I'm about, 80% done. I'm just glad that it's getting done because I did hire some help for this. I mean, this is a type of project that I couldn't do on my own. And I'm talking about a lot of the editing, uh, the, a lot of the filming parts. It was, there was a lot of help and it was exhausting. I mean, behind the scenes has been exhausting. So if you've been waiting patiently for that, trust me, it is going to be worth it. I cannot believe how amazing this is coming out. Like I've never done anything. I've never done anything like this. It's been it's been hard. It's, it's the hardest thing that I've ever done. The hardest. It's gonna make history. I know that it's gonna be great. I, I could see it even being picked up by like some TV network. Uh, they're gonna drool over it. I mean, it's that good. 
I spent a lot of money on it too. I've never spent this much money on a YouTube project. Uh, like it's, I can't believe how much money I spent, but it's all going towards a good cause. It's gonna be amazing free content to watch and I'm excited to share it with you. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to editing here. Just wanted to, you know, say a nice formal, informal goodbye. But I appreciate you hanging out with me today at the Safe Haven Ranch and for being patient with me when it comes to uploading content, especially some of my really good content that just takes forever to storytell and edit. But yeah, it's going to be great. Got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace. <laughs>